All right, it's tournament time. I gotta make some rigs, doing a tournament tomorrow. I'm um, actually fishing in the kayak against power boats. This is the first one of the year for that. I will be doing probably three others this summer. So I thought I'd just kinda show you how I rig my wire rigs um, for the tournaments. So check it out. All right, I use 60 pound wire or it's really 58 pound, number six, I believe. I'm using a 50 pound laser sharp power light swivel. I'd recommend at least using 50 pound. You can go up to 80 or whatever you want to do, but for me, getting the smallest one possible is what I'm looking for. Oh, and don't mind my disgusting looking thumb. That was a, a nice job of getting that smashed. <laughs> but what we're gonna do is just a haywire twist. Do a couple open wraps and then get some tight ones going. Try to do about 10. Maybe eight. But that will do the trick there. Simple. Now I just cut my tag ends. I know a lot of people do the uh, little twist, bend over and twist it off, but I don't care. I use cutters, does it quick, gets a little tag in, so what? Gets the job done. I got about two to three foot on the main wire. And we're gonna bring that to your four aught Eagle Claw live bait hook. Again with the Hayward twist. That one's looking a little nicer. Clippers cut. Good to go. Now for the stinger section. And in this tournament, I'm actually running some bigger baits. So I'm gonna be doing a double rig. Uh, the first hook off the, the live bait hook, I'm gonna be using a two aught. And we're gonna rig that. Same thing. Haywire twist. Now doing the haywires can be a little painful when you're first starting out used to it. My hands are kind of used to doing it, so don't bother me too much. You can get a tool, there's a bunch of different things you can do, but I'm used to doing it by hand, so I'm gonna stick with that. Now, I wanna kinda have this first stinger about the midpoint of the bait, so I kinda just gotta estimate where that's gonna be, and actually, a lot of times on my normal baits, gogs and runners and things like that, I actually will tie it to the curve of the hook there. Um, that's going to allow the, this wire to kind of sit better along the live bait, not having an arch on the top. But with the bait I'm using for the weekend, I'm actually going to do it on the eye of the hook because I want it to have that arch because that's the way I want the hooks to sit on the bait. So we're going to go right through the eye. It's not easy to do with this camera right here. <laughs> I'm trying to show this. And it makes it hard. All right. So that's the first one. Now the second hook, I'm gonna scale it down to a number four. Eagle Claw treble. Four X strong. thing with the haywire twist. Uh, 
Now this one's going to go directly to the curve of the hook. So I'm going to kind of want to have an estimate of where this is going to land on the bait. Kind of want it at the, not on the tail, but close to the tail of the bait. So that if the fish hits it short, it's also going to get hooked. Now on this loop, you want it really tight so that it's not going to come off and slip over the barb. And if you do get it to where your loop is a little big, you can actually just cinch it down by uh, getting the hook on, or you can use pliers and pull that hook from hook to hook, pull it tight, and it'll actually tighten down on one another. Cut that. Not the best looking thing, but it does the job. Four out, not four out, number four treble on the end, number two middle, and then your four out live bait hook on the front to two to three foot of main wire to your 50 pound small barrel swivel. That's basically it for at least with the bait I'm going to be using this weekend. Again, there's some other ways that I do tie it uh, for different types of baits and maybe I'll show you guys that at another time. That's pretty much it. Hopefully these rigs will get the job done this weekend. Uh, we're looking for a big kingfish really. That's our main goal. And then uh, try bottom fishing for a decent mutton. They also have a snapper division so we'll see how that goes. But wish me luck. Really a goal of mine to uh, get out there and take down the powerboat tournament in the kayak. We'll see what we can do. I'll see you guys later.